everybody, George here again. We're going to be doing another unboxing. And today, we're unboxing the Blade MSR. Now, the Blade MSR is an awesome little helicopter. It's the perfect choice if you're thinking of graduating from a coax helicopter to a single blade helicopter. Now, this thing is a, a fixed pitch. It's not a collective pitch like you'd find with the SR, but it's definitely a really good transition helicopter to get you on to the next step, onto bigger and better things. Um, I bought this at my local hobby shop, had no problem finding it. I don't anticipate finding anything uh, out of ordinary in the box, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to go through the unboxing and look at each one of the items in the box and uh, discuss each one of them. Um, this is the uh, BNF version, uh, so it's not going to come with a controller. I plan to use my DX6i as a controller for this helicopter. So, um, without any further ado, let's get right on to the unboxing. What's up everybody? We're back. As you can see, I've removed the styrofoam packaging from the box so that we can go ahead and move on with the unboxing. And first thing that we'll look at is the items in the top of the box. Of course, we have the manual. Um, this is a uh, pretty thick manual for its size. has everything that you need to know about the Blade SR. Um, typically, these guys at Horizon make a really good manual. Everything you're going to want to need to know is in here. But if you want to go ahead and download a PDF copy, you can go to their website, have a copy on your computer. I prefer to have a copy on my computer, um, and it's a good thing to have as a backup. Moving on, in the bottom of the box, we have the 110 volt adapter for the battery charger. We're going to be talking about the battery charger here in a minute, but uh, that's also in the top of the box. Well, that's about it for the top of the box. Now let's go ahead and see what's in the bottom of the box. Okay, first thing that we're going to start with is this battery charger. This battery charger is great. It charges four batteries at once, no more AA batteries, plugs right into the wall with this AC adapter, and it is, it's just great. I, I remember charging batteries one at a time using the AA battery charger for the uh, MCX and the MCX2, and this thing is great. Typically when I fly, I fly four batteries. Finish flying the batteries, come out in the house, pop them in the charger, they're charged and I'm ready to go for my next flight. So this is a great thing to have. Moving forward, we do have two LiPo batteries. Um, these are 120 E-Flight LiPos. Um, it comes with one. I ordered a second one. Uh, it gives me a total of four with my other helicopters, which is typically the number of batteries that I fly is four batteries. Moving on, the actual helicopter itself um, looks to be in good condition. Uh, I have the blue canopy. You can also get it with the red canopy. You can also get uh, metal upgrades. Uh, the, all kinds of hop-up accessories are available, as well as the tail boom. Uh, tail boom is something that you may go through after uh, a lot of flights or after a crash, but real easy to, to replace a tail boom. It's a one-piece unit. Everything appears to be in place. Um, this swash plate does have two sets of uh, adjustments, one for uh, standard movement and one for higher movement. The 5-in-1 control on this also has a trainer mode. The trainer mode uh, simply reduces the maximum throw. Makes it a little bit easier if you're a novice pilot and just starting to fly one of the single rotor helicopters. I included the transmitter in this box because um, I did want to tell you that on the right stick, if you push in on the right stick, that does activate the trainer mode of the 5-in-1. Um, with it out, it's in full, full throw mode. You'll know that when you're in trainer mode because the light will be blinking instead of on solid when you turn it on. So um, that's about it, everybody. All of the components that came in the box. This is the official unboxing of the Blade MSR. Um, we'll be making another video, first flight and review. Um, so stay tuned for that one. In the meantime, thanks for watching and look forward for more unboxing videos soon.